Hey guys, it's Captain here, and today I'm in Missouri, and I'm going to be reviewing the Nerf Doomlands Vagabond, as you see, as you saw. And this video is a little bit different. I will be reviewing the blaster. I'll also be showing around Missouri. It's kind of a vlog kind of style, because this is one of the last times in Missouri, because my grandpa, who lives here, is moving in with me, with my family. So. It's kind of an important video so to me, but you'll see parts of Missouri and a shout out to Missouri for the viewers who watch there and just the shout out to the place. It's very nice. The humidity is kind of a lot, but it's a great area, so you'll probably see seeing some of the area. And I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you. This is the Vagabond from the Doomlands 2169 series. I think those are the numbers. I don't have it right now. Shoot. Yeah, 2169. So this is, usually I'll just say the Doomlands series, which the color scheme I'll talk about later. But this is the main blaster. It functions like this. There's, uh, this is, it's pump action. So you grab right here, pull it back like a shotgun. Then it, <laughs> then you fire, right? Easy thing, easy stuff. Um, one thing I do wish, I kind of wish this was a little bit bigger because I used to when I first got this, I'd grab it right here. And at first I thought this is too small, but I actually got used to it. I bet you will too. At first you might be, oh, it's too small. No, you'll get used to it. And... Another thing just to note is that this blaster looks different than on the pictures. In my opinion, I thought it was going to be longer, slimmer. I don't know, just overall feel this is different. It's actually kind of fun to use as a pistol. It's pretty fun. I don't know. Just to me, you always see that angle where it's like that. It always makes it look way longer and skinnier. Um, but yeah, that's really... About it. And my other complaint about this gun is the handle. It's just wide. At first, it would hurt my around my thumb and my uh, forefinger. Now it's I got used to it, but it's still kind of annoying at first. But I also really like the blaster. It since it's Doom Lands, it usually doesn't shoot as far, but the power is nice um, and it's pretty accurate. I did a test already. Um, I haven't done a test for this video, but when I was in Missouri, as you can probably tell, I'm back home. But when I was in Missouri, I got to test it one of the times, a few times, and it's a pretty good blaster. Let's now talk about the features of the blaster. This blaster is the tannish orange, the bridal orange, the black, and gray. And this is in color, but clear, I guess. So, it's just the normal colors of any Doomlands gun, unless it's Doomlands Impact Zone, which is, that's its own sub-series. And of course, since it's Doomlands, it has the clear where you can see through it, you can see the gun function, which I think is pretty cool how it's on these guns specifically, and the Sonic series, Sonic Green series, Sonic Eye, Sonic Fire, you get it, but you know, instead of having to buy same guns, just Sonic series, you'll get your own series of guns. But I just like how they evolved them on all, on every single one of these guns, even with just a lid on the handle. Instead of you having to buy a whole nother gun that's the same gun but clear. So I like how they do add some of that. It's not like I would really buy another gun because it looks because of the clear. But maybe I would, I don't know. Probably not, but maybe for looks. This 
This gun has one tactical rail right here on the top, and then it has kind of like a fake iron sight. Well, that doesn't really work. I can aim with this. I've seen some others who aren't very good aim with this. This thing isn't like a real iron sight because it it goes up, so it's kind of weird. But I can aim with it. I've seen others who can't, so I guess it's really your experience with Nerf guns and guns. And it has a sling point right here. Um, and right here. Just these two. I guess you can use the trigger, but, you know, that's your own choice. But it has two main sling points that are actually made for it. Right here. And of course, since this is the right side, it has Vagabond in black, Doomland, starting 169 right here. Or the, just the main Doomland symbol. Nerf right here in black. Then the other side, just Vagabond in orange, which you probably can't see. Then there's caution stuff into the paint. So yeah, that's about it for the features of this blaster. So now, let's do a firing test. All right, I'll be aiming for the small square right above that big, long, middle one. Uh, six shots. Yeah. Close. Same spot. Way too high. Too low. Last shot. And too low again. You see, this gun is kind of hard to aim with. I am pretty good with getting it in the general area. A lot of mine went too low. Um, one went too high. But and I did get one in the center, which is good because some of the guns I only get on the edge and not the center. So that's pretty good. Slam fire. Some of those were way off, but some of them were landed still under it, so I guess if when you're aiming, try to aim, I guess, a little higher. Because if you notice, I've had so many that just go fairly under, so aim just a little bit higher. In case you were wondering, like everything I did in Missouri, I helped my grandpa pack. I helped work on the house. I'm gonna say, I didn't go to a Royals game actually. They actually sold out for the first time in forever. <laughs> but I do have pictures of the arena and of the Kansas City Chiefs uh, arena too. Also, I went to a place called Worlds of Fun, which is a roller coaster place, which is awesome. Also, played on my phone, played on my tablet, and danced to Spanish music. Another thing, as you saw in the firing test, this gun does have slam fire. And also, to reload, you just stick them in, 
just right here. Right, and then there is no button to push it out with the strong arm. You have to manually turn it. All right, don't turn it the other way because it's pretty hard and it'll, it kind of sounds like it'll break. You have to turn it towards the way it'll turn usually. So towards the right this is the way I have to turn it. Another thing, when you look out up at this, you can tell that this hole is the biggest these ones are smaller and people have asked and wonder does that spin why is there a difference like between range and accuracy and I got the answer right now this thing is strict is only for looks probably a lot of you guessed it this does not spin only this does only the drum, not this part. That's just for looks. The one hole's bigger, I don't know why, but I don't know, but yeah, that's just for looks. So if that, any of you guys were wondering, just for looks. Also, I really like the look of this gun. I always thought it looked kind of weird in the pictures. No, this, I like the look of this gun, especially with the drum and barrel being together having the slot for it all the way down here and it opens up like that I just think that's cool guys thank you so much for watching and please let me know what you thought about this video it was more vlog style I guess but it was really important to me to do a video on my last time in Missouri for a while maybe forever who knows but so thank you um, please let me know what you thought if I when I'm in different states and I haven't get a nerf blast do you want me to review them there just let me know what you think and I places you saw so I was in Independence Missouri so that was when it was all like showing outside and stuff then the other stuff part was a Royals game the Kansas City Royals um, and the other one with the amusement park was Worlds of Fun, which is an awesome place. So if you go there, definitely go to Worlds of Fun. It's really fun. If you like roller coasters. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video, especially if you like the style of this video. And thank you so much for watching. See ya.